some very interesting roots. I just figured out a method of how to find the roots of an equation. To start off, Newton's method is an algorithm used to approximate zeros of a polynomial on a function. And it is a lot less complicated than you think. Newton's method begins with initial guess of the root of the function x sub zero, which supposedly is close to the actual root of the function. One can draw a rough sketch of the function and its derivative on a graph to come up with, it with an initial guess of the root. Tangent lines are used to approximate zeros in the function. One can determine the root of the function with a tangent line throughout a series of sequential approximations. These sequential approximations are repeated until f of x is near or equal zero. The formula for Newton's method is x sub 1 equals x initial minus f of x initial divided by f prime of x initial. Newton's method was first developed by the prominent mathematician Isaac Newton. But this method varies from the contemporary method because it pertains to polynomials. Because nothing's perfect in the world, the Newton's method may not always work. It fails when, one, the function has no roots, two, the function has more than one root. In this case, you should focus on one root at a time rather than both of them. Three, if the estimated root is at a location in which a horizontal tangent line is evident, and four, the estimated roots fall back and forth. In the year 1690, Joseph Raphson revolutionized Newton's method by incorporating sequential approximations. Sequential approximations, x sub n, are absent from Newton's method because it's primarily algebraic. The contemporary method is easier to understand than Newton's method because of sequential approximations. Okay, stop. Okay. Right, stop. In the year 1690, Joseph Raphson revolutionized Newton's method. Oh, by incorporating, all right. In the... <laughs> to start off, Newton's method is an algorithm used to approximate zeros of a polynomial on a function It's a lot less complicated than you think. Please stop. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Java computer program that finds roots of a degree 3 simplify polynomial by applying this method. So as you see right here, these prompt the user for input. I'll show you right now. So as soon as I ran the program, it started to print the lines in the console for input to prompt the user to enter their values for the degree 3 polynomial. So right now it prompts the user to input the x cubed term. So I went ahead and I entered 6. This value is saved as a C3 term which we initialized, and now that holds that value. So we do the same for x squared, and this program works for decimals as well. For the x squared term, I will input 4 as a coefficient. For the x term, I will input 0. For the constant, I will input 2. x squared is saved for c2, and coefficient 0 is saved for C1. The constant is also saved. So we go here, go through this loop, which iterates through all the roots that we saved, and then in line 141, it will print them out in this easy to read format, as I will show you here. As you can see, a root for the function 6x cubed plus 4x squared plus 2 is negative 1. And we can verify that by going to Desmos. 
As you can see in the graph, the root of this function is clearly negative 1. So you can see this program works. You can see that it's very accurate and on the money because of how small our incrementer was, which you can see in line 105. If there are no roots found, it runs this statement and prints out there are no roots to the user in line 147. As you can see, a computer program is a good application of Newton's method.